It's a great song. It's a shame the speakers don't do it justice. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. In this video, I am so excited because I'm finally going to be replacing the factory speakers in this 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The General Grievous still has its original speakers from its Infinity Gold sound system. They are blown, they sound like crap, some of them don't even work, so they gotta go. Um, let me show you how bad they actually sound. Just gonna turn this on. Oh, and I gotta put in a CD I made. It's a copyright free CD because uh, I don't think YouTube will let me play Kanye without banging me for copyrights. So, uh, copyright free YouTube songs. This is going in. And we're gonna hear, ooh, we're gonna cringe when we hear this song. Uh, oh, first song is actually uh, Bugs Theme from It's a Bugs Life. If you haven't checked out her channel, go check out It's a Bugs Life, great Jeep content. She's got this song on it and uh, Let's get her to a thousand subscribers. So go subscribe to her. She's awesome. All right, here we go. It's a great song. It's a shame the speakers don't do it justice. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's get these things out and I'll show you what we got to put in. Yeah. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see what's in this box. Boom. We got two sets of two Infinity Reference speakers and it's upside down. <laughs> so for all you math wizards out there, two plus two equals four. <laughs> and that's it. We got uh, Infinity Reference. They are REF 6522IX. They are six and a half inch speakers. They should fit right in to the ZJ. And what else did I get here? I also have two sets of speaker adapters. So this will let us plug our speakers right into the Jeep, right into the factory connection. No cutting, no splicing, no soldering. Uh, these are definitely a great thing to get. It makes the job a whole lot easier and a whole lot cleaner. So here we go. We have these Infinities. I got these because these have great reviews and their impedance is three ohms. Now this is super important because the stock ohms, the stock resistance on these Jeeps and the sound system is two ohms. That has two ohms impedance. So I kind of wanted to match everything. Uh, if you have a speaker that's got a lot of resistance, like let's say four or even eight ohms, uh, and you put it in the stock system, it won't sound as loud. Um, the resistance resists uh, the current. So you're gonna need a lot of watts to push it. So although I put in an aftermarket head unit, which puts out a lot more watts, um, it's still not a ton. I'm not running any amps. So yeah, that's the reason why I got these speakers. I just wanted to keep everything relative to the stock OEM spec. So again, we have a slightly more powerful head unit pushing out a couple more watts, and we have speakers that can take a couple more watts because they just have one more ohm each. So yep, uh, similar specs. Hopefully we'll have everything uh, sound a little bit better than the stock system. Um, uh, yeah, well, these aren't going to be blown. So yeah, uh, similar specs, uh, a little bit more powerful and uh, should be a little louder and uh, better than stock because they are new and all intact. All right, guys, here we go. Time to take off the door panel. Just going to use a Phillips head on the driver and a little flathead to pry off my little tabs in here. So we're going to pop this off nice and gently. Pop this off up here. Whoa, that shot out. Cool. Uh, where's the other one? One's down here. And uh, we're going to just pocket these until it's time to reinstall. Um, and there's a screw behind here. Screw here. Uh, screw down here. And a screw in here. And once those four screws are out, I do believe you just give this a little tug out and upward. There we go. Pops right off. Ooh, this is gross in here. 
and let me grab you real quick. And I'll bring you in a little closer to see why this is still attached. And the only thing holding this together <laughs> are the bird droppings. The only thing holding her together are the bird droppings, sir. <laughs> Couldn't resist the good movie quote. So the only thing still holding the panel on is the plug for the door control. So pop this off. Oops. Oh well. Look <laughs> at <laughs> the speaker. The speaker's trash. Look at that. Wow, guys. This speaker is jacked up. It is literally disintegrated. I wonder why it didn't work. Oh, man. Let's get this thing out of here. Here we go. I'll pry it out. The screwdriver. Nice. And disconnect it. And there is your part number if you're looking to go back to stock. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Let's open up some of these sweet speakers. Nice. Cool. All right, here's a trim ring. Perfect. That could be useful. There we go. Infinity reference. I'm go ahead and take off this. We're not going to need that. And let's see if there's hardware in here. Well, that's interesting. No hardware. What a jib. What a jib. All right, so here we are with my new moisture barrier. Uh, you can check out how I did this in my trim video. Um, need a place to cut. I think right here will be good. This way, moisture could drip behind the speaker and it will be no problem. Let's see where the screw holes are. There's the plug, we need that. All right, here's the adapter. Here's the part number. It's a Metra 72-1002. Go ahead and rip that open like a savage. There we go. Just gonna plug this in. All right, you know what? You gotta put on the trim ring first. So this is gonna go right up here. We're gonna need one, two, three. That's these big tabs. So all the tabs in the way, we can nip off. We don't need them. Nip them off. Now we'll go ahead and plug this in. Now on speakers, the little prong is always your negative. And we could go ahead and insert our speakers. All right, once you find a spot that looks good, you can go ahead and zip them in with some self-tappers. Let's try right here. And four. Cool. All right. Let's reassemble this door. Let's go ahead and drop this in place. It's going to go from the top down after we get the door over its handle. I'm going to 
lock it in up here into this channel. You could go ahead and punch in your fasteners once it's all lined up. fighting me. All right, here we have the inside of the door. <laughs> Look at this speaker. This is such garbage, guys. <laughs> Grills fall off. <laughs> Both times. Oh, these are terrible. All right, let's get this speaker out. Let's remove this abomination of a speaker. <laughs> it's amazing how the grill just crumbles. Look at this paper cone. <laughs> it's Nothing left of it. All right, take out the three screws. Oops. And this is kind of in there. There we go. Oops, got the dropsies. All right, and we'll move the plug. There we go. This is garbage. Goodbye. Hey, check this out, guys. There's the hardware. <laughs> Guess I couldn't see it when I did the driver door because it was dark. But there's the hardware. And there. And we have some ceiling rings in there, too. So it's double-sided stick tape to get a good door seal. Ah, I don't need it. So that's cool. And nice. Speaker number two. All right, let's put this on. Okay, I know I'm going to be using the big square tabs, so I'm going to trim the little tabs off this trim ring. Uh, there it is. Cool. Got this ready. All right, let's get this trim ring on. Make sure you fish your wires through. And the tall tab goes in the up position. If you guys didn't see that in the first one, it's probably because I forgot to mention it. But I'm going to put that on loosely, and I'm going to go ahead and put the other two on. Oh, got to line up the holes. There we go. Trim ring on. Now let's get the speaker on. Going to go ahead and use our nice dandy plugs. And they only go on one way, by the way. This little uh, clip locks on right there. So that's nice. Can't mess that up. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our positive and negative wires. There we go. Nice and plugged in. All right, got our speaker ready. And we're just gonna line it up with the same holes we did on the driver's side. Punch in our self tappers. Two. Three. And four. Cool. All right, guys, moving on to our back two speakers. It's going to be the same exact as the front. So we're going to take off the door panel and replace these. So I will fast forward you and see you soon. <laughs> I still can't get over how crappy these speakers are. Oh my goodness. What a tragedy. The cone fell off. <laughs> cone fell off. Speaker number three is in.
I don't know, what do you think guys? When we pop off this door panel, is this speaker gonna disintegrate too? Uh, my money's on a yes. And just gotta disconnect the wires, guys. <laughs> there it goes. Speaker number four, disintegrated. All right, guys, check this out. Uh, your ZJ, uh, the ones with the Infinity Gold, they're considered uh, an eight speaker system. Now, I know you might be confused. You're thinking, hey, I have two tweeters, two front door speakers, and two rear door speakers. Um, why are they calling it eight speakers when it's only six? Well, here's why. The rear speakers and these, they have a tweeter in them. So it's considered a two-way speaker. Thus, they can cheat and say that you have eight speakers in your ZJ. So um, unless you guys have the 5.9 that has the other speaker bar, you th you're thinking that you're gypped. What a gyp. But you're really not, but I guess you really are. So uh, no tweeter in the front speaker, tweeters in the rear speaker. It's a silly little trick. But all right, let's get this last speaker abomination out of here. Alright guys, all the speakers are in, we're listening to them, they're all on, very good, very good, let's check this side, yeah, that speaker finally works, and this speaker, sweet, alright, we actually have uh, 10 speakers set up now, according to Jeep, which used the rear speakers as dual speakers since they have uh, tweeters they consider those two channel speakers two separate speakers uh, if we use that same logic we now have 10 speakers because we added two two channel speakers to the front so uh, two times four is eight plus the tweeters up top on the dash so we got a 10 speaker system now uh, according to Jeep logic and a ZJ so I'm just gonna bring you in here and I'm gonna set the balance and fade well Actually, I'm just going to set the fade. I like to fade to the back a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go for a test drive. But first, uh, I'm going to set the, where is it? Loudness up. All right, on my Pioneers, I like to set it to the powerful setting. That always sounds good. And then I bring that into the custom section and I drop down the low frequency way down because I don't want to blow, oops, sorry. So I don't want to blow anything and these speakers really can't carry uh, too much of the low frequency so I'm bringing all these down a little bit all right now I'm coming over to the high pass frequency and let's see I'm gonna bring this down to six decibels for the front and yep it's right where I want it I'm gonna move it over to 63 Hertz so this way it'll cut off all the frequencies lower than 63 Hertz and we're gonna go ahead and do that for the rear. So we got front and rear, uh, high pass on. All right. All right, back on CD, close these doors and I'll take this for a little ride and we'll start jamming. All right guys, all four speakers are in. Uh, they all work, I know this. Because I can hear them. <laughs> So let's go test the fade and the balance and we'll just double check so you guys can see that I'm not making this up. Here we go, we'll go all the way down to the rear and we'll start with the rear left. So let's go crank this up. And you know what, we'll put on Bug Song too. Here we go, Bugs theme. Rear left. That works. Rear right. Going up to the front. And 
front driver. All four work. Alright. Awesome guys. Thank you for watching my speaker fix video. Again, they are infinity reference speakers. They are three ohms. They are great in the ZJ and uh, they work great with this Pioneer. So no more factory speakers, no more factory head unit. We're, uh, we're upgrading. So thanks guys. Stay tuned for the next project. Uh, go check out the stickers and like and subscribe. All right. Peace.